What is good everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and today it is WWE Clash of Champions edition. Alright guys, it is the Thursday before a pay-per-view, so you guys know what that means. It is time for a brand new WWE action figure setup, and this time it is Clash of Champions Edition. I told you guys a couple days ago we had another setup. I think it was on Monday maybe. I said that we were going to have another setup for today. So we have the entire backstage full. You guys know how we already do. I can't show you the arena because we're filming for MDT Live, so I have to keep everything in the backstage area, but it is an epic setup today. We got plenty of things going on. We got a brand new custom in the house that I've not shown you guys before. We're going to get some detail shots on that and it's going to be freaking epic man we got the full backstage full i'm ready to break it down we have clash of champions 2019 coming this sunday and it should be a solid show you know i'm not that hyped for it but every time i'm not hyped for it they always deliver and uh, they, they make me very happy with their shows usually when that goes down guys but let's go ahead and dive into the setup and see what we got going on so what we'll do first, guys, is we'll start off in the right side of the setup this time. And on the right side, guys, you will see my boy Cedric Alexander. He is hitting the United States champion AJ Styles with that lumbar check. I think this is what we're going to see on Sunday. But for now, in our setup right now, guys, we have the United States champion getting lumbar checked out of this world. One of my, It's probably my favorite finisher, I'd say. Next to the RKO, probably my favorite finisher in all of wrestling right now. Uh, I, I just freaking love the lumbar check. It's, it's definitely my favorite. But uh, you guys will see that just beyond... We have the OC. We have Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson trying to come to the aid of AJ Styles. So if uh, Cedric Alexander doesn't want to get his butt whooped, he probably needs to get up and get the hell out of there before those guys get there. So Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson are on their way. But for now, AJ Styles is definitely getting lumbar checked. You can see the United States Championship in his right hand probably going to fly away. His other hand right there, uh, just, just what a beautiful shot. If we go just beyond that, guys, you will see this tag team that was thrown together, and they are battling for the Raw Tag Team Championships at Clash of Champions. You have my boy Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode here. And you can see Ziggler. You can see him. Look at him. He's like, what the hell, Brad? And he, you know what he's saying? He's saying, I don't know why the hell we're a team. And that's, that's what he's saying. They came up short. They lose to Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman is what I'm predicting here in the setup. And he's saying, you know what? Uh, why, the why, why the hell are we a team, man? And he's just like, yeah, Brad, you're right. I don't, I don't think we should be a team. And yeah, so I don't know why you're a team either. I, I honestly do not. But you know what? Uh, we're going to hopefully get a good match out of these guys. I just don't understand why they threw them together, but you know they're, they, they have a freaking title opportunity so they better make the most of it and try to capture those Raw Tag Team Championships. In my predictions video, I actually said that they were going to win just because I don't know where they're booking it, but for the setup's sake, I went with them losing the titles. If we go just beyond that, guys, you will see Eric Rowan, and Eric Rowan is getting speared the hell out of by the big dog Roman Reigns. Obviously, they have a no DQ <sighs> almost vomited. They have a no DQ match at Clash of Champions guys, and uh, I, I just thought that this would be a good part of the setup. You know, Eric Rowan, you know, been beaten down on Roman Reigns. They got a little in-between fighting on SmackDown Live, but I think the big dog is going to prevail here. Even though it will be a huge victory for Eric Rowan, I think that the big dog, Roman Reigns, is going to overcome the odds here, win that no DQ match, and he's getting it started here with a spear into the backstage area. His back going to go just go crashing into that storage unit. And if you guys will notice, just beyond Eric Rowan, you will see Daniel Bryan, and he is celebrating. He's got the yes chant going because uh, he doesn't care. He just wants them to fight and you know him and Eric Rowan have been getting into it Eric Rowan choke slammed him through that announce table so you know Daniel Bryan's like yeah, yeah F you Eric Rowan how about that Brad that's why he's got the yes chant going and so uh, that's what we got going over there we uh, we already showed you guys the OC running the to the aid of AJ Styles so we'll try to get beyond that right here and we will show you guys in the corner back here you will see Mrs. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross kind of hard to like get this shot right here uh, doing my best uh, right there you guys can see in the back you have a pissed off Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross just trying to explain to her, you know, uh, what the hell happened. I have them losing to Fire and Desire, Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. I have them both losing their titles to them. And uh, over here, and over here to their left, you will see the new tag team champions, Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose with their beautiful women's tag team championships. Even though the titles aren't worth a John Brown, probably the most worthless titles in all of WWE, the way they're treated, uh, I think that they're going to capture them, man. Hopefully we can build up some momentum for those titles and actually make them worth a damn. But for now, uh, you know, with them on Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross, I don't see that happening. So I have them uh, taking those championships away. And Alexa Bliss is pissed off. Nikki Cross trying to explain herself.
itself. Probably going to break up there, but anyways, let's move on with the setup. If we go into the middle, guys, you will see we have FTRKO, we have the Revival, and Randy Orton, my boy Randy Orton, going after the WWE Championship in celebratory pose right here. You guys know how he does, and he is with his boys, the Revival, right now. I don't know if they're going to keep this as a main stable. You know, they've kind of been hanging around. You know, they've been beating up on the New Day, beating up on Kofi, and uh, I think that uh, th this is this could be the, the scene at Clash of Champions. You know, I hear a lot of people saying that uh, New Day is going to drop their SmackDown Live tag titles. Kofi Kingston is going to drop the WWE Championship, and this is what we could see at the end of Clash of Champions. Could we have uh, one stable passing off their titles to another here? And you can see here Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Big E all laid out to waste, and um, this is what I would think. I think I predicted New Day to, to retain the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, but I, I genuinely think, and I, I believe, and I think it should be a thing. I think Randy Orton should take that WWE Championship, guys. I just think that's what we should get. You know, I think that'd be the right move. I think that is what needs to happen. You know, Kofi Kingston's had a great reign. He's looked very amazing in all of his matches uh, as champion. I think we need a good heel Randy Orton right here to pick up the win and dethrone Kofi and uh, give us a good reign here and make up for that terrible face run he had in 2017. So if we go beyond that, guys, you will see in the back right here, you have The Miz, and uh, he is he's, he's given us one of his fiery promos. He beats Shinsuke Nakamura for the Intercontinental Championship is what this is this is signaling here. And he's, you know, doing those passionate promos that he used to cut on Talking Smack with Daniel Bryan and Renee Young. You guys remember that back in the day. So that's what he's doing to Corey Graves. Corey Graves completely shocked. He's like, what the hell is this? And he's like, no, Brad, I'm the best. And uh, hopefully we get a, a heel Miz, man. We need a heel Miz as IC champ at this is what they want to do with it. I'm not sure what they're thinking, but uh, we haven't seen him really in a big marquee matchup since WrestleMania, so I would like to see The Miz here win, even though, you know, it's kind of crazy that I say that, because usually I'm not a big fan of The Miz, but I don't know why I'm just feeling The Miz is IC champ right now, but here he is uh, cutting a nice promo interview shoot with, uh, with Corey Graves. If we go slightly to the left, guys, you will see we have all four horsewomen right here breaking down in a fight. I know that Becky Lynch is taking on Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship, and Bayley is defending her SmackDown Live Championship versus Charlotte, but I have all four of them. You know, they're kind of intertwined coming into this storyline and in this feud right now. Um, so I have all of them just sort of just beating the hell out of each other, just breaking down. And maybe we'll, this will lead to a big match between all four for both titles. Who knows what, what they're planning, but that would be absolutely epic. Maybe they're building for that for next Mania. I'm not sure. Maybe Ronda Rousey plan to return like uh, in the in the next few months. I'm not sure what they're thinking, but here we have all four women just, just breaking loose and just beating the hell out of each other. And I expect both of these matches to be very, very good. And uh, that that is it for this part of the set. So you can see like the chairs are knocked over, the tables knocked over, championships thrown all over the place, and these women are beating the hell out of each other. And for the moment you've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, we have the end of the setup right here, guys. We have Seth freaking Rollins laying out by the Fiend Bray Wyatt. The Fiend Bray Wyatt right there. Brand new custom that I finished just this morning and it looks freaking fantastic. I'm very excited for it. I love the way it turned out. Um, I did go with a different formula for this guy, but uh, nonetheless, let's get into the setup and then I'll explain the figure a little bit. Uh, right here we have Seth Rollins laid out. You guys know that he and Braun Strowman are the Raw Tag Team Champions and not only that, but they are serving double duty at Clash of Champions. They're also going to have a championship match for the Universe championship, uh, you know, probably in the main event. So both of these guys will go head to head. And I hear the rumor mill that apparently Bray Wyatt is supposed to get involved and we're supposed to have a triple threat Hell in a Cell match going into Hell in a Cell between the three men. And that would be okay with me. I would love to see that. But right here we have the Fiend Bray Wyatt interfering, taking out Seth Rollins, hoisting the Universal Championship over his head. And this is just beautiful, man. That freaking head cast by BEW. I got my head cast. I painted it up. And uh, I didn't get one of the ones that was painted. I went ahead and just paid for the one that was, you know, non-painted. I got some decals. We threw the tattoos on there. I went with the rhino torso. We got the entrance jacket, the custom hands from my boy Rodney, and uh, we went with a Bray Wyatt crotch. We got some sting legs in there just because I thought that that would work well with the, uh, you know, the little impressions on the front of the, of the legs there, and uh, we went with sting boots as well. So, 
I just put a thin layer of red over the legs and I think it turned out pretty well, but I am super stoked with the way the fiend turned out. I am happy with it, even though I'm going to have to redo some stuff because the waist and the torso didn't fit quite right. The arms are kind of jaggedy and I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to fix it up a little bit, but nonetheless, this is kind of my base that I'm going with right now. And uh, nonetheless, it looks great for pictures and just, you know, predictions, videos and things of that nature, but I doubt I'll be able to put it in the pick fed or anything like that. But anyways, guys, that is it for the setup, guys. That is it for our Clash of Champions 2019 action figure setup. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'm so excited to finally reveal that Fiend custom that we finally did. I literally did that in the span of like maybe a couple hours. I just kind of got all the parts together and we whipped it up real quick and here it is today in the setup video, guys. But that is going to do it for my setup video. Pr leave your predictions down in the comment section below, guys. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys... <coughs> Almost threw up again in the next video. Thank you. Randall Keith Orton, baby. Randall Keith Orton gonna take out gonna take out Kofi and win that WWE championship.